Hi guys, Andy here again and in this video I'm talking about my recommended practice routine for level one of my beginners course. So this is my practice routine for any absolute beginner guitarist. Um, we want to check out the chords and the chord sequences and the songs that you might want to be checking out. But here we're looking at, uh, you know, people ask me how long should you be playing for um, and what's the best habits to kind of get into. So, you know, in the early days, your fingers will be super new to guitar. You don't want to be playing too long every day. Um, so what we're looking at is 15 to 20 minutes, and that's the rec recommended routine that I've got written out for you. The main thing to take from that is even just five minutes every day is far better than two hours on a Sunday afternoon when you've nothing else to do. Because doing that's quite easy, but then your finger ends will really hurt for the next few days and we're not developing habits. You can't develop a habit by doing something once a week. We need to do it as near as you can to every day. And a lot of people, you know, if they think that oh, I've only got five minutes or so, they won't pick the guitar up. And then that day, they haven't picked the guitar up. It's far better to pick it up and just do these simple things that I'm showing you now, but it has to be nearly every day for you to really make good progress, okay? So if you're practicing for, say, half an hour every day, that's fantastic, you know, it really is, but you've got to make the commitment to do whatever you're doing nearly every day, and just trying to pick up the guitar every day is the biggest challenge. I always say it's like I'm saying, I'm going to go for a run every morning, Monday to Friday. When you're actually out running, that's not the hard bit for most people. The hard bit is getting up that little bit earlier, getting your shoes on and getting out the door, you know, in good time. That's what people tend to struggle with. So make that your primary focus. But to make the most of that practice time, here's what you want to be doing. At level one, we've just covered E major and my beginner's way of playing an A major. So first of all, just chord practice, just strum each one of those chords, making sure your finger placement is good at this side of the fret. The fingers are right on the tips and we're doing this kind of claw hand idea and ideally positioning the thumb just here, just kind of at the higher part of the neck and not touching the bottom of the guitar at all. So with my beginners I always say, I haven't got one actually, but uh, you should be able to get a pencil through this point here. Okay, this is the idea. We want plenty of gap here to make sure that those thinner strings really ring out. And a great way to check that is picking each string six to one. So strum each string one at a time, pick each string one at a time, give it a strum. Strum, individually pick and strum. And all throughout that time you can make those fine adjustments that we'll later rely upon. When we strum the A chord, Remember, we don't want to strum the thickest E string because we just want to be playing from the A string because this is the A chord. E chord, we strum from the thickest E string. A chord, we strum from the thickest A string. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears, right? E, A, D, G, B, E. Um, next rhythm guitar practice. You want to be playing either one of those chords. So, you know, first of all, just to make sure your timing is good, because, you know, the changes might not be too hot in the beginning. We want to make sure that you can play any one of those chords in time to a slow count, which means on the beat, down strums, on every beat, and everything nice and even. Ideally, to the drum beat that's provided at lesson two, in the, in the beginner's course, which will be on my website. Lesson two of this level one. Strumming along to that and making sure that you're in time. Then as soon as possible, we want to be looking at your different chord sequences that are available. There's been a previous lesson here where I've looked at or, or um, shown you guys my recommendations for this level. A bar of E and a bar of A, trying to get rid of any pauses and really just mastering these basics which make up our songs. As the final part of the, the practice routine, you want to finish on songs. So um, we've kind of built up from 
just making sure that we've remembered what our chords are and do you know them from memory and are they ringing out great have we got each string ringing out then strumming just on the beat without a chord change strumming on the beat with a chord change with any of the recommended chord sequences and then that's the same thing that happens in the songs and that same kind of four parts to the puzzle that kind of add up to you being able to make songs are going to, we're going to stay to pretty much that format for the vast majority of, of this beginners course but as I say everything kind of shoots out exponentially from here so get into this good habit from now and how do you know when to move up to level two what should you be able to do what are your early goals well you need to be able to play E and A from memory without having to look at the website or any chord diagram and be kind of really sure where to put your fingers and kind of be putting them in the right place naturally you'll want to be able to play any of the recommended chord sequences that's why we're doing it again if you can do it along to the drum kit fantastic that's what we're looking for and be able to play around three songs or at least a good a good attempt at three songs from that first list of ten I've given my recommendations but do the songs that you like be aware that any higher level strumming patterns that are covered in those videos are just to give an accurate representation of that song on YouTube all we're expecting from absolute beginners is strumming on the beat this is what we want from level one of my beginners course as soon as you can do that I mean the songs are the real test if everything's coming together in those songs and everything's sounding really sweet and you're confident especially if you can play along to each of the the records for about you know a minute a minute and a half or so fantastic get yourself up to level two and let's learn a D chord basically thanks for checking out this lesson please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah I'm sure I'll see you again happy practicing